Here's how you can enable Bill's payment in your Foxy loading machine. Before enabling Bill's payment on your device, please complete these security steps. We'll list these steps in the description to make it easier for you to follow along. On your PC or laptop, open your browser and copy-paste this link. Step 2. Once you're on the website, scroll down to find the Android Platform Tools zip files for Windows and click on it to begin downloading. Step 3. Find the downloaded zip file and extract it. The file should be named Platform Tools Latest Windows. To proceed with Step 4, take your tablet and plug your tablet to your PC or laptop using a USB cable. Then, change the USB mode to File Transfer MTP mode to enable Developer mode. Navigate to Settings, Find About Tablet. Scroll down to Build Number and tap it several times to enable Developer mode. Note, the process to enable Developer mode may vary slightly depending on the brand, but it generally follows the same steps. After enabling Developer mode, tap the Back button and then select Developer Options. Scroll down and toggle on USB debugging. Simply select OK on any pop-ups that appear. After enabling USB debugging, return to Windows and proceed with Step 6. For this step, type CMD in the Windows search to open the command prompt. Step 7. Type CD, followed by a space, but don't press Enter yet. Step 8. Open the unzipped folder, find the Platform Tools folder, drag and drop it into the command prompt, then press Enter. Step 9. Copy and paste the command from the description into the command prompt, then press Enter. If you see the message, List of devices attached in the command prompt, you can move on to Step 10. Similar to the previous step, copy and paste the command into the command prompt and press Enter. Your device is now set up and ready for Bill's payment updates. Now, let's return to the tablet to start the update. First, we need to exit kiosk mode. To exit from the kiosk mode, simply press the power button twice, then press the volume up button once, or use the online portal with the command disable kiosk mode. After exiting kiosk mode, click on the three dots in the upper right corner of your screen. Scroll down and tap Download Update. The update should download automatically. Please wait for the download to complete. After the download is complete, click on the file and then choose Install. Kindly wait for the installation to finish as this will take some time. Once the installation is complete, tap Open. When you reach this screen, tap the three dots to open the menu, then select Kiosk Mode. You can select either the classic or modern theme. For now, I'll be choosing the classic theme. You should now be able to see the Bill's Payment option appear on your screen. To get the machine up and running for Bill's Payment, let's kick things off by activating it on our online portal. Open your browser and navigate to thefoxtech.com. After the site loads, click on the online portal at the upper right corner of your screen. Here, you'll be asked to sign in. Please input the trusted number and click Login. Enter the OTP you received and click Login again. After logging into your portal, navigate to Licenses and eLoaders and click on it. In the Actions column, click Service for any machine you'd like to activate for Bill's payment. After clicking Services, a pop-up will appear. In the drop-down menu, you'll discover the services available for activation, each with its own pricing details. You can select Gcash or Maya for your payment method. Keep in mind, the prices you see aren't fixed yet and may change in the future. After activating the bill's payment service, we can now proceed to the pricing setup. To set up the pricing or the transaction fees, locate the bill fees option and click on it. Here, you'll find all available billers listed. You can scroll down or simply type the name of a specific biller to configure the transaction fees. Choose one to configure the transaction fees. 
You can set transaction fees for each biller, but due to the large number of billers, we've set a default amount. And each biller has a unique default amount already set up. Once again, all billers already have a set default transaction fee amount, but you can change the pricing anytime. Since pricing is already set for all billers, you can simply change the default pricing of the transaction fees for the most common billers in your area. For now, I'll configure the transaction fees for PLDT. Before we proceed with configuring the amount, please take note of these important details. The first one contains information regarding the posting details of the transaction for this specific biller. This also includes the system fee. The second info shows the default fee of transactions for this specific biller. For example, PLDT's default fee for every transaction is 12 pesos. And lastly, here you'll see the total fees. The total fee is comprised of the system fee plus the machine owner's fee. What does this mean? Let me give you an example to illustrate. If I set the fee for transactions ranging from 1 peso to 500 pesos at 10 pesos, here's how it works. If a customer wants to pay PLDT 500 pesos, the machine will indicate that they need to insert 510 pesos for the transaction to go through. This means that 500 pesos goes to PLDT, 2 pesos goes to the system fee, and the remaining 8 pesos goes to your earnings. Now, what if the customer wants to pay PLDT more than 500 pesos? Since it's outside the bill amount range that I set, the default fee will be used. For example, if the customer wants to pay PLDT 600 pesos, then the machine will automatically use the default fee as the transaction fee. This means that the customer will be asked to insert 612 pesos for the transaction to go through. Now, let me guide you through setting up the pricing for bills payment. To set this up, click on the new button and input the amount range, enter both the minimum and maximum amounts, followed by the fee for that specific range. To add more bill amount ranges, simply click the new button again. Similar to before, enter the minimum and maximum amount. Just ensure that the amount doesn't overlap with the existing ranges you've set up. Transactions not falling under any created range will automatically use the default transaction fee. Transactions from bills payment will deduct funds from your eCash wallet. Please ensure you maintain sufficient funds to avoid any issues with your clients. Now that we've set up the bills payment, let's also set up the e-load pricing. To set up the e-load pricing, click on the e-load pricing option located just above the bill's payment. To get started, simply click on Load Defaults on the pop-up. This pop-up will only appear if there is no pricing set yet. As seen on the screen, each denomination already has a price set up. You can edit this by simply clicking the Edit option under the Actions. You can change the minimum and maximum amount or simply adjust the top-up price. You can also add more denominations by clicking on the new option. Then, enter the minimum and maximum amount followed by the top-up price you want for the denomination. You can set up all of these providers or simply go with the default pricing. We highly encourage you to check each provider and edit the default pricing. Additionally, consider adding more denominations, especially for Gcash. E-load transactions will deduct funds from the load wallet. Please check your dashboard regularly and replenish your funds before they run out. After setting up the pricing for e-load pricing and bills payment, you'll need to sync it with your machine. To do this, exit kiosk mode on your tablet. To exit from the kiosk mode, simply press the power button twice followed by the volume up button twice. After successfully exiting kiosk mode, simply tap on sync settings and wait patiently for the syncing process to finish. It will update both the e-load and bills payment pricing. If you see this pop up, the syncing process was successful. All settings have been successfully updated. Your machine is now ready for deployment. Thank you for watching. You're now all set to handle bills payment transactions with ease. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out.
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you soon.